Hey, before we start today's show, which from from my understanding is any minute now, it is also the best show we've ever done. The best show we've ever done. We hear all the time. No, oh, that was the best. Ha, that was the best. How was every show the best show? And we're like, well, hey, check this out. Here's how. Because of the Spitwad community. That's how. The Spitwads, you guys listening, supporting our show. You help us out. Go to spitballerspod.com and support the show. You can click become a Spitwad. You get early access to all the shows. You get the Spit Tank where we're going to answer your questions the way they tons should be answered. Tons of antioxidants. The, uh, oh, yes. All, all Rejuvenating the for all skin. Tons of medications. Go th- <laughs> Look, if you have any kind of medical problem at all, please visit spitballerspod.com. Become a Spitwad there. You won't regret it, and we appreciate your support. Now, on with the show. What happens when three buffoons give life advice, explore unrealistic situations, and give random topics more thought than they probably deserve? It's the Spitballers Podcast with Andy, Mike, and Jason. (laughs) Welcome in. Oh, Jason. Oh, Very heart, nice. The heart is racing. I'm about to have a heart attack. Let's go. Is that different from normal? Um, It's it's not my... I would say 25% of the time I'm ready for the heart attack. Okay. But I would say the majority of my life, I'm, I'm unprepared for the incoming... Yeah, you're a little sweaty if I mean... If I... <laughs> They say so myself. Oh, you, am I? That's a shame. You're glistening oh. just a little bit, but that's because you were Curious. scatting, and that I get and it. And you like you right before the show. Are you always going to powder up? Yeah, right before I mean, the I show, you like you pulled up sounds from the Amazon, and <laughs> like that's how you were preparing. Yeah, I. So here's here was my strategy today, right? Because you know I love the scat. It's one yeah, of it's yeah, your, your favorite. favorite. It's one of my favorite things. I lo- I'm, I wish I could do it every time. But, you know, I, I let you guys have it every rules now and then. Rules are rules, yeah, yeah. And I was thinking to myself, self, I'm an actor. Mm-hmm. So instead of me doing it, what if I act like Jack Black doing oh. it? And so I just, I put myself right there and I tried to, you know, the, the classic phrase, what would Jack Black do? Yes, of yeah. course. And uh, that's apparently what he would do if I were him. So I find that. Probably eighty percent of my my mannerisms are if you took Jack Black and Conan O'Brien and you <laughs> and you just no. like you fuse them together. Oh my like that's God. a weird combo, man. I think it, most it's people really do not, not though. I'm just ripping both of them off. That's my whole shtick. Well, Jason, you are if Jim Carrey and Jack Black combined all there of their you go. mannerisms. Yeah, because I'm like a fat Jim Carrey. Totally get it. <laughs> No, you just said you channeled him. Oh, absolutely! You, didn't you just gotta go channel with, his weight. No, I know, but you gotta go with you know y- your people, and that's why I'm his people. I it's gave like you Jim opposite. Carrey. <laughs> it's the opposite of the rhino scene, right? <laughs> right. You're climbing in. That's how I see it. <laughs> okay. Welcome Maybe into it's the just the regular rhino scene. Jason's the rhino. That's what, all I'm trying to say is that Jason's the rhino. Yeah, nice. Would you rather on the show today, liar, liar, coming back at you, Al Borland going to try to <laughs> stump us once again. Not, Not this time. happening. Nope. Not this, Not this time. time. Never <laughs> happened. <laughs> and uh, we have a great, we have a battle royale. It's been a while since we've battled. And so we get to do that today. Yeah, I plan to, in the battle royale, yes. kill you. Okay, all right. That is, that is right. my plan. Kids, uh, only in a battle royale. Right, only in a hypothetical battle royale. I mean, that is the goal, right? The the goal is that is the goal. All right, well, there you go. So I will kill you. At Spitballers Pod on Twitter, spitballerspod.com is the website. You can join uh, and support the show over there at spitballerspod.com or join the spit.com, however you use the internet. The Spitwads are the best. And if you're listening and you're thinking, I love this show, I've really enjoyed it, I want to help support it, you can. Go to jointhespit.com, become a spitwad, and it, you know. Otherwise, you know, you can be on the outside, and you can be one of those people who yeah, aren't wanna, spitwads. 
Yeah, if you want to freeload or whatever, that's cool. Just make sure that if you're going to freeload, you leave us a review on Apple Podcasts. <laughs> there, there, there you go. You're also w- welcome to head on over to spitwadsquad.com if, if you prefer that. Wait, does that work too? It does. It does. Jeremy made, Do we Jeremy have made three sure. domains? Yeah, you can. There's an innumerable. Well, you, uh, can, you should go in order. What number? What word is that, Jason? Innumerable. <laughs> that's, that's not right. All right, let's uh, get into it. Would you rather? All right. Drew from Patreon asks this question. Would you rather have the power of invisibility or the ability to read minds knowing that whatever you choose, the rest of the population has the same superpower? Oh, what a good twist. I was like, wait, I feel like we've had a question yes. like this, but goodness, that's a yeah, twist. Nice twist. I had the immediate thought of one, you know, you know the okay, if someone can read your mind, that's not a good place to be. Sure. There are everyone's got those thoughts that you, that's why they're thoughts and it's okay, but you just don't you don't vomit them out the mouth and everything is okay. But then I thought, okay, wait. If everyone can read minds whenever is our society actually slightly improved are we going to be more Perfect. civil to each other you yes. can't be dishonest right there is no dishonesty in a yeah, world where yeah you can lying read is gone it's lying out is the done. window well and i think i think what that means is actually that our judgment will let it go a little bit more because it's it's easy to hold on to judgment that nobody can see but when you're judging someone and everybody knows about it then you're exposed so this is like bringing us into the light you know, our deeds are already exposed. My deeds might not be that bad anymore. I might not be judging y'all. I'm going to be like, Whoa. nice hat, Mike. Nice this hat. got very deep. Very well, on the But on the other hand, <laughs> if half of the world is invisible, I'm afraid everywhere I go. I'm literally, I, I mean, go take, go take, you know. Oh, uh, no. Go, no. No, 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 it's, it's, no, 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 no. Where do you feel safe? Where could no, you possibly nowhere. feel safe knowing that half the world? Nowhere. Here's the thing. I would always be invisible. If I had that, <laughs> if I had that power, sure. I would just choose. So now the world is empty. It's like, you know, last man on earth style. <laughs> Everyone's afraid That's to show true. themselves. You're a contrarian. Thinking, if you're visible, I was visible. thinking that I would like live in a house with a f- a, a, a fog machine in every room. Would that oh, give with me the lasers. definition? Yes. Yeah. For no, that would work. Sure. I've no, I've seen the what Kevin if you Bacon were movie. In, you're in your house and you decide, yeah, I'm going to hook the fog machine up. And when you flip that thing on, there's 38 <laughs> people. <laughs> <laughs> 30 oh my people gosh. just staring at you. They're all in your home. Oh, that would be And they terrifying. all start just, just shuffling towards the door because they've been found out. You go to turn that fog machine on, and it's like, oh, it's unplugged again. What is happening? <laughs> oh, it's no. just like roaches. It's, but it's yeah, they all scatter out of the, the house. <laughs> so, so officially, here's a, let me read this question again. Yes. Would you like to improve society and get rid of judgment by having uh, deep, dark thoughts exposed so that we don't have them? Or would you like to be fearful of everywhere you go and have someone in the room that you can't see at all times? I'm going with option A. <laughs> it's a rave everywhere. Smog oh, man. machines. Okay, that one's great. That was a great question. <laughs> Robin from Instagram, would you rather swap the digits in your age or your height <laughs> in terms of inches, I guess? So wait, what would that okay. be? Uh, so I would go from six two to two foot six. <laughs> yeah, you'd be two foot six. Or I'd go from 36 to 63. I thought I- it would- Okay, so you young, continue. young and miniature, <laughs> or old and the same height. So I so am. Are, are you going? Are you going inches? So, so Andy, you're you're Jason's six four. Jason's about to reveal. Well, hold on. So Andy, you're six four, right? Is that what you're uh, saying? No, I'm six two. You're si- okay. So you're six. So two, that's, so that's yeah. seventy four inches. So, so you would be, be forty seven inches. Oh, okay. That's what you meant. All right. Okay. So you're just under. Just Can under someone four do feet. the math for me for forty seven inches? What is that in? American. It's about Please. four foot. Four Thank foot you. is 48 40, inches. 40. And now I'm looking at mine because I'm six foot. So I would be 27. So I would, be, be, a wee, I would be a wee, wee little be lad. A wee, I'd be a wee lad. I see. Or, and I was, 
I was all excited because I'm thinking I'm 5'11 and we're switching the inches in the feet, and I'd be 11, <laughs> 11 foot 5 inches. <laughs> it's me. Catch oh, me the ball. Oh. I'll dunk it. You I wouldn't mean, be able to move. That's here's what why I would he do. said in inches. If I Yes, because if I was 11 foot 5 inches, I would be proving my Yao Ming NFL method true that I can just throw me the ball five feet out there. I'll fall to the ground. And I would be six inches tall because it would be zero six. No, now I would. That's that's right. You, you'd be zero I'd feet be smashed. six inches. I would. I would no longer exist. Um, it doesn't matter what my height is. I can't choose the reverse age. Unfortunately, I am thirty eight, which means I would be eighty three. Ooh, yeah, and that doesn't work. I am not going to choose to have my life be near the end that close. I mean, I do plan on living to be one hundred and twenty eight, but. Right. Uh, Wait, we hold all, on. We hold all do on. actually. That your your plan went from you you aren't making it past what 30, 36. 36. You're yeah. you're not going to make it past thirty six. To now well, you're go, you're going the distance to over a hundred and twenty. Yeah, I mean once you pass what the happened? Fr- well, I I learned Elon that Musk I, happened. <laughs> I learned that I wasn't going to die, Mike. I mean, once I didn't die at thirty six, uh, the yeah, lawnmower I'm, man. So how tall would I be? Die at one twenty eight with Elon uh, Musk world. You Al are currently Borland. 71 inches, so you would be 17 inches. Oh, man. So I this sucks either way for me. I'm either 83 years old or 17 inches. Now, do I get to start growing again? Nope. Just this horizontally. Is, oh, man. <laughs> That's actually a really tough question then. 17 would you rather inches. be 17 inches tall, so you're a foot less than a foot and a half? Yeah. Or That's wild. you're 83 years old. What could you do if you became, let's just explore this for a second. If, if we all became a foot and a half tall today. It's the Matt Damon movie. What happens to your life? Oh, yeah, yeah, where they all got Downsize small. Downsize or whatever. Did anyone see that movie? No, I wanted to see it, but I everyone said so it promising. I, look, I can tell you, oh, I saw about a quarter of that movie. Oh, no. And, and it you don't lived have. Up, it lived up to the billing because I mean I don't know maybe the ending is fantastic but everybody said it it was terrible and then I start I was like it looked good so I put it on I'm like this is trash it was bad oh. it was it was a bad get go sad but okay. what what would life be like like if I'm a foot you're and carried half, around right people are carrying you around oh for sure I'm in someone's backpack I mean that's yeah. like Yoda like Yoda Yoda yeah like you're like baby Yoda one seven no yeah. Yoda's like. Four, three and not a half? baby. No, you be baby no, Yoda. Not. Oh, baby Yoda. Yeah, yes. Real Yoda is like three and a half feet at is least. He? Yeah, yeah. He's a little bit bigger. Think My about Star him. Wars <laughs> metrics are off. I, yeah, I mean, I, I, you just have to rely on everybody for everything. So I think I'm going to take the reverse of my inches in height, and I will yep. be 11 feet five inches. Oh, so you took the option that you don't have. Good. That is correct. <laughs> All right, Tyler from Twitter. Would you rather have your pet's life? span doubled or their IQ tripled. <laughs> By the way, according to Al Borland, Yoda is two feet, two inches tall. Oh, who was closer? Yoda who bomb. Who was closer? Yoda bomb I don't Mike. know that you're closer. Three and a half feet to two feet? Oh, no, you're closer. Okay, that's, <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty simple Where math to figure out. Look, that? sir, okay. if you include mathematics, fine. Maybe you're closer. All right, so uh, Yoda's short. And would you rather have your pet's lifespan doubled or their IQ tripled? So, oh, the wait, problem, oh, my dog? Yeah. The problem oh, is if, no. if you triple the IQ oh, of a dog, no. I would yeah, really not, want that lifespan ex- extended. I mean, no, that's no, no, the no. best dog of all time. Okay. It, look, you think triple a dog's IQ is a big that's difference? That's a problem. No, that's a, that's a big problem. Okay. Like, when, it's a big uh, problem? Yeah. Yeah, well, I guess wouldn't you have to go more than triple on a dog to get it to a level where it's well, not see, a here's, dog? Here's here's immediately where I went. I, like my dog, uh, it I, she's a pretty smart dog, and but when we leave, she goes in a kennel now. And so that that was my immediate thought. If uh, if this dog's IQ is triple, and we're like, yeah, go go hang out in the kennel. It, she's not going to have any of that nonsense, but I guess if you triple the IQ of a dog, they don't really need to go in a kennel. They, you give them the remote because they know how to watch the television. Yeah, you say, watch the house. 
And they it talk back tri- and they say, you got it. I am it. stuck on the idea that if you triple a dog's IQ, you can hand them a remote control and they can talk to this you. Is, is that the level hate, we're at? This is oh, because yeah. you hate dogs, Andy. Yeah, you don't uh, realize how smart they are, man. I mean, there are dogs that can go and use a toilet. And they're they don't have triple the IQ. But there they're are not going to that... understand your. Um, they're not going to talk to you with triple the no, IQ. Well, look, they're not no, gaining they're not new talk. vocal cords, but they will understand everything I say. They might not be able to speak the language, but they can understand. I mean, they understand a lot of what I say now. Dogs, you know, you could train them to to know what certain sounds mean. This this means they're going to know the language. Dude, they can smell out the COVID, man. I dogs mean, dogs are, are dogs okay. are insane. So there's at least one study that I've I've looked I've spent years looking this up in the last <laughs> second, and uh, average dogs can learn up to 165 words, which is similar to maybe a two year old child, including signals and gestures. The That's top 20 percent in intelligence worldwide of dogs can learn almost 250 words. I'm just trying to quantify tripling the but, IQ of a dog. But you, if you told an, me. I- you triple an IQ. That's not tripling the 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 words. It's not like you go from two hundred to six hundred. It's exponential. No, but I'm trying to understand what a basic IQ of a dog is. That's all. That's fair. Yeah. That, that's a fair question. I to, to me, a dog would triple. It's a two year old IQ. IQ. It, to me, oh, the, my t- <laughs> dogs are way smarter than a two year old. If you, I, I feel like this, it's a problem. This is a situation where the dogs like, wait a minute, you're my you, pet. I'm a pet. You uh, it's, right. It's, that's it's fair. The episode of Rick and Morty where all of a sudden the dog is sentient and and the dogs take over the world. It's a problem. Well, it's so, only one dog, so he's not taking over the world. But um, here's, <laughs> it's, here's just, it's a really really depressed dog because here's the, none of the other dogs are on the level. No, but oh, you no. treat. Yeah, I would not treat that dog's not getting dog food. If I've got a, a super smart sentient dog, he's eating at the table with me. And he's doing a brill- He's doing it brilliantly. And can when we my get back to the food- point of this conversation, which is basically that Mike can put things into a kettle as or into a kennel as long as they have a low IQ? As Isn't long as that they're the stupid. Message? If they- my kids were dumb enough, I'd kittle them. <laughs> that's, that's what I think Wait, the focus you were of not this all in agreement <laughs> upon that? <laughs> no, I mean, I guess if they didn't know, you know, get in their kennel. Now, remember, when, like- remember when your, your your kids were babies or toddlers that didn't have huge IQs and you, you would and put you them, kennel in, them? <laughs> you kennel them? <laughs> you don't remember putting your babies in a kennel? You don't protect think a, them. You don't think that, 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 that a play was... pack is a kennel? That's a I lo- kennel, dude. I love it that, okay, you might be right there, but I love that Mike thought that the main thing here is he was getting one over on his dog that he's got him in this kennel and he's going to get hip to you if he gets smart. She's also like super excited to see me every time I yeah, come Yeah, that home. would go away quickly yeah, with a better IQ. <laughs> Instead of like, oh, it's him again. <laughs> Instead of I Conan think O'Brien's back. back. <laughs> I, so the, the, the actual question of the length of the dog's life versus the the intelligence of the dog i would love i I don't see this as a problem i would love to have my dog be super intelligent i'm not gonna have to worry about potty training Uh, he'll bark when i want him to bark and not bark when i don't want him to bark he'll he'll have a little bit more control over what he you know he'll know what he should and shouldn't do yeah but you think you're controlling here's what i'm here's what i'm saying is i would you know if you're not upping the lifespan Every dog after that is going to be the worst. Mm. It's just going to be the worst dog ever. Okay. Okay. And I plan but, to have a dog but, my whole life. Right. But that smart dog will be able to like, he'll probably write up his own will and stuff. I, <laughs> my dog food, my dog dish I, goes to I Isaac. <laughs> <laughs> what is he giving away? I mean, <laughs> I'm just saying he's probably going to be able to deal. He'll rationalize with his own death a little bit differently than the yeah. other yeah, I'm gonna take the longer lifespan. Yeah, me too. Uh, I love my current dogs and uh, Sugar. She's so sweet. She's so stupid. Uh, she could use the up to IQ. <laughs> she is. I love her. But would she's she tri- a, a triple? Would that just make her on the level? That would of the make other her dog? like our other dog. That's right. <laughs> um, so I guess this really does matter what your current dog is, right? You you triple right. the IQ How of a smart is your dog. dog. <laughs> yeah, I would love Sugar to just be a regular smart dog. That'd be great. Mm. So sweet, so. But stupid. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the long life. Give Rocky and Sugar a a, a longer time. With no, my you have children. to pick one. Sophie's choice. Okay, oh, Rocky. No. Rock, Rocky lives <laughs> okay, a lot longer. Oh, I mean, no. look. You say you don't have favorites in kids, but uh, I don't have to do the same in dogs. Rocky's better. Rocky, greater sign Sugar. Sugar's sweet. I love Sugar. Just not as much as Rocky, and that's okay. It's a dog. I get to do that. <laughs> yeah, that you can get one over on him. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, because they're so stupid. <laughs> he only can he only can hold sugar. Uh, that's right. <laughs> Rocky has a, his own room, his own bed. Mike, I want you to answer it with a final answer here, and then I have a question for Al. Oh, it's, it's I'm taking the the, the double. Yeah, the I'm, double I'm, lifespan. I'm scared of the the triple IQ dog. Yeah, you'd have to sell your kennel and stuff. And Andy uh, will never take a dog. That's his answer. I, uh, I think I, I would go. Uh, I think I would go double lifespan for the sake of like my kids not having to go through losing a dog and stuff like that until they're in their thirties or something. <laughs> um, Al, do we have time for one more? Would you rather, or should we move on? We got time. All right, let's one go. More. Aaron from Patreon says, "Would you rather lose access to YouTube?" but retain, retain all social media access or lose all social media access, but retain mm. access to YouTube. My, my spider sense tells me Aaron is a little bit of the younger demographic because like you're saying the, it's not essential to you the way it is to the younger demographic. Right. I, I mean, I use YouTube. Uh, honestly, the, the, if you were like able to look at my YouTube history, I use YouTube far more for like music. I, I find it's easier to find a playlist. It's easier to find just someone streaming uh, a whole bunch of uh, music that I want to listen to. And I don't, I, I, I've never, I never got into the YouTube world. I missed the boat. I mean, I see some of the clips on like, Facebook, I guess, because that's because uh, I'm old. Uh, <laughs> on MySpace, happened. you see them on MySpace. Got <laughs> like, it. Look, I get into the Facebook videos, and I understand that all the people like Rhett and Link, uh, like they're sensational. I watch all their food videos, but I watch it on Facebook, and I know they're on YouTube. But I'm like, ah, now to be clear, you I'm have a channel right now on YouTube with over two hundred twenty thousand oh, subscribers. YouTube is, YouTube is incredible. <laughs> it is. You should never ever stop watching YouTube. So here's the thing. I'm I'm surprised that you are are saying that because when you said I think he's younger, I thought you were going the opposite. I thought you meant because he's a younger generation, social media is far more important to the core of his life than it is to be. Like for me, oh, that's a great if question. If I got rid of social media, I think I'd be a happier person. You Probably. know what I mean? Like we all like, would. Yeah, we, exactly. We all would. Like when, when I got rid, yeah, of, it's I, a plague, bro. I haven't used Facebook in like five years. Uh, par partly because our, our former business revolved around Facebook and I was just like crazy burnt out. And so I, I don't use Facebook and I don't miss it at all. There's not like, I, oh man, but you I use wonder Twitter what's... all the time. And it's because it's a job. It's a J-O-B for me. Well, I, I, get, I want well, off of Twitter. I, Sorry I, guys, I get, kid, come on. I get that you're, you putting stuff out on Twitter is part of the J-O-B. Uh, but to me, like Twitter is a news source. I, I get tons and tons of breaking news. It's like a normal news source, but just like way more depressing. <laughs> uh, listen, here's That's what fair. came to mind, because I just built a computer with my 11-year-old son, and it took like a day and a half, and we were putting all these parts together. All my research, how, to f how everything worked when I got to a, a, a tough part right. was... I had like 10 YouTube videos I could watch of other people doing yeah. it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it was like, I, I actually thought to myself after we were done, I was like, man, what would I have done? Like I would have had to call somebody that knew how to do this. If they didn't, I would have had to buy a book. It probably would have been shipped to me in six to eight months. And then I would have had to learn in the book and I could just watch. I mean, 20 years ago, you know, it was just yeah, yeah, so yeah. easy to learn now but can how to do something. 70 percent like I said of my YouTube is watching music and, and listening to music the other 30 percent is how to change a flat tire oh right. everything everything <laughs> is how how to change and windshield every time wipers I'm like, oh how back, to build back to YouTube for the yeah. flat tire yeah. literally the the greatest learning platform the greatest educational platform is YouTube for me for for sure like that that is, I have a degree in YouTube and I can't get rid of YouTube from my life. So I'm, I'm cutting social media out. But I did wonder, could you pivot? Like, let's say YouTube didn't exist, right? You, for music, Mike, you like music. Well, just go to Vimeo. Like, yeah, you, no, I, or, or, you're, you're, you're or Apple there. Music or Spotify. I could go yeah, anywhere. Well, you but know, I'm just trained to go to YouTube. Can you find DIY videos on Facebook video? Can you know, are there enough other platforms? Because this question is specific. The main video platform is gone or all social media platforms are gone. No, because the only, I mean, maybe something would fill the gap, but YouTube, the reason it works is no matter what you search, there's five videos on it. Yeah. I'm, I'm keeping the YouTube, man. I'm keeping you YouTube. You guys talk yeah. me into it. All right. Yeah. Oh, get out of here, social Al, media. Al, you're yeah, keeping yeah. YouTube, right? For sure. 
Also, right. make sure you follow us on IG, on Twitter, at Spitballers Pod. <laughs> it's really important, and we love uh, the interaction That's right. there. That's right. All right, it's time oh. for Liar oh, Liar. Yes. Liar Liar, pants on fire. As time has passed, this segment has become more and more my favorite segment on this show. Because it is the white whale. We have not yet defeated Al. What are the odds that over the amount of times we've played this game, there are three of us that not one of us have ever answered all three questions correctly? There's only three questions. I'm pretty sure you could figure it out. So uh, I'm no math you, wizard. No, look, do you guys remember statistics? So how this would work? I, look, and I get it. Everyone You're listening saying is, if the three of us could game the system by playing this right. No, no, just just the chances of one of us. So it's one out of three, and there are three different questions. So is that three times three times That's three? What I, it's Why some, don't you YouTube like, it, and we can figure that out? <laughs> <laughs> That's a great point. I mean, That's how you'd answer the question. I feel like it's one times three times three, but... I think that's how you do the statistics. I don't yeah. know. This is the not answer the world. is zero percent. We ha- we have the research. <laughs> uh, oh, oh man, talking dokey. smack. I was so ready to whoop you last time, Al, and I am gonna but poop all didn't. over your parade here. All right, three rounds, three facts per round. One of them is a bold faced lie. We must de- we must defeat Al Borland today. Round one. Fact one, male pandas do a handstand mm. <laughs> while peeing on trees <laughs> mm. to maximize the odor field. Oh, man, that's, okay, da- look, that's a it, dangerous move, pandas. It, it makes sense, and it reminds me. Have you guys ever seen on YouTube, you ever seen a, a, <laughs> bat, a bat take a pee? Yes. Is it upside down? Uh, well, of they, course. Because well, bats, no, bats hang upside down, but then they, they right side up. And they use their little hook wings and they hang yeah. on and, and then they just let, let, it, let it go. <laughs> yeah. Fact number two, there is an island between California and Hawaii known as the Pacific Bird. It is 30 meters wide and features a 120 foot tall natural rock formation that greatly resembles a giant <laughs> hand giving passerbys the middle finger. That is inappropriate, Pacific so, Bird. There's a possibility that Al is now inventing geography. That's great. And then fact three, an apple that you purchase in a supermarket was harvested approximately eight to 12 months before you buy it. No way. No way. No, no way. way. You know what stinks? What stinks is Al Borland is now even more determined to defeat us. Yeah. And I can feel it with these three facts. Oh, yeah, because the the second fact here, the Pacific bird, it's so long and so specific that I I want to say I don't respect Owl enough that he would come up with all that, but I but now I I still don't respect don't him, know. but I know I should. The I Pacific should respect Bird. Him. It's, it's a, that sounds he's ridiculous. He's flipping the bird. It's so specific that it's got to be the lie. Here's what I know: an apple. There's no there's no stinking way that it was harvested approximately eight to twelve months ago. Because if that's the case, they know when they're harvesting these apples. This will rot in in twelve months and fourteen days because you can, you bring an apple home from the grocery store, you got a shelf life. I I don't know. I have thought to myself many times because I we we do apples in the fridge because I like a I like a cold crisp apple. Do I people thought, not do apples in the fridge? Monsters, I don't know. Monsters don't do uh, apples. Okay, in the fridge. well, okay. I, we're all three in the fridge with our apples. All right, all right. I wasn't sure if it was like everybody does it. Uh, Some anyway. people do their milk in the fridge. <laughs> Some do but it on anyway, the counter. My, my point is, I have uh, we've I've done the apples in the fridge, and I know that, that a fridge extends shelf life and stuff. But I have several times thought to myself as I grab an apple, like, wow. Apples last a really, really long time. Ah, uh, you know, have, as, you're, I, as you're saying that, I have. Uh, we, you do- know, you thought it. We've been doing fondue recently in the Moore household, and <laughs> and bragging about it. <laughs> oh Even yes, fa- is this a farting in brag? the glasses and smelling it too? And, what is well, happening? of course, th- but that's been years. <laughs> We've um, been doing a lot of fondue, <laughs> and so we have these green apples that that we bought and. And they've just lasted forever. We we bought a new bag of green apples, assuming that our old one was probably too old. I bring it out. I was like, "This no, is no, a perfectly no. fine no, no, apple." No, no, no. I'm I'm locking in the apple ones to lie. 
Oh, I'm locking it man. in. I, I, we buy apples all the time. They get, they start to go bad. And they start to get a little bit soft and soggy and browny and no. But that's no, because eight, they were harvested 12 months ago. <laughs> oh, and they just they, 12 months. They last 15 days in my that's house what and I'm then they're saying. done. It's impossible that it's that's a, true. That's, that's my lie. I'm like, oh, look, ah, I'm, I'm just going this. with my gut there. I, all right. Look, I think. Saying? I think that the eight to 12 months cannot be true, cannot be true. I think that the Pacific bird is far too specific, which means I think that Al Borland wrote it. So I am taking the first one. I'm taking male pandas to a handstand while peeing on trees because the other two are so clearly lies that he's trying to dupe me and two male of them pandas. are true, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah, so I'm saying that both of those things I think are lies are true, and that male pandas are doing a handstand while peeing oh, upside down. Oh, you're going reverse That's psychology. That's the lie. Reverse there's psychology. Of, I see through you, owl. Okay. There's a lot of Princess Bride uh, thought yeah. process yeah, going yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. Uh, He's got us tilting. Okay. Mike, lock it in. I uh, look. I've got to take the I've bird, take Mike. It. I've got to do it. For, this is for the team. This yes. is This is for Team Spitballers here. All right. The Spitwad Squad. Uh, I've got to lock com. in. I've got to lock. <laughs> Spitwadsquad.com. <laughs> I've got to lock in the island because yeah. I one think of us has might, a chance. I think it. I think it's false. And um, look, the yeah, fact he in. has lock us having to do this is terrible. This is stupid. All right, Al. All right, Mike takes the W on that one. Uh, the uh, island is completely made up. Uh, yes. Uh, yes. Yes. And yes, your your apples are harvested eight to twelve months before you buy them, and they're stored in like a refrigerated. Uh, device that like removes the oxygen to prevent uh, decay that's amazing. i didn't think about storage like that that makes so much sense i was thinking they're just sitting out so I'm wait stupid. pandas do pandas pee upside down i mean yeah they are no, no, burying they, the leaf oh, yeah, by getting their getting their urine higher up on the tree it it makes the odor field <laughs> wider to wow. mark, you just to mark climb their the territories. tree a little bit versus the I can, old handstand? I can promise you Can't that you just if aim? I... Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, if I were to do a handstand, <laughs> my urine would be lower than if I tried to get it high while standing. I'm so disappointed already. All right, round two. It's all, all right. Mike is our only hope. Fact one. Elmo, the Muppet, created by Jim Henson, is the only fictional character to have received knighthood, an mm. honorary doctorate, mm. and a Nobel Prize. Okay, okay. That sounds I could true. See, I could see that, yeah. yeah. Like, people uh, love number, Elmo. Yeah, they do. Uh, especially the queen. Uh, <laughs> there exists a, bio, a biologically immortal species of jellyfish known as the uh, Turritopsis dorhinia. It mm. can reach Nailed full maturity it. and then revert to infancy. That's 100% a fact. I know that. That's 100% a fact. Really? You know that's a fact? Yeah, I know that's a fact. Where that's have you heard incredible. that one? I've just read it. I've read it somewhere. Uh, Jellyfish oh. Magazine or something. I don't so, know. Uh, <laughs> Jellyfish Weekly. You just saved it because I would have locked that in I think in we're going to help it in. No. This is the lie. This third one. Uh, to avoid traumatic brain injury, woodpeckers wrap their tongues around their skulls in a small... Uh, empty <laughs> cavity to help cushion the blows. Oh, I love this so much because Andy, if you're sure that the second one is true, I am sure that the no. third one is is true. Which oh, means you are? Elmo is a lie. Oh yeah, they absolutely. That's that's true. I think they do. It it, it makes the sense, skull man. thing. I've never heard that one. Oh man, we're we're gonna have to choose our own. I am gonna trust you, Andy. I'm taking Elmo as a lie. And my guess, my guess here with Owl and his deceitful ways is that like Elmo has uh, you know received yeah, a Nobel them. Prize. Yeah, exactly. And he and, doesn't and do was, that to us. He doesn't. Kerm- He's never no, done that. No, but it. But I he think made it, it all be, up. Right. But I, what if? What if? Three different Muppets had received these, but no one had all three. That's what I think the mm. truth is. So I'm taking Elmo. I'm locking Elmo in as the lie. They wrap their tongues around their skulls. I'm taking that one difficult. as the lie. That one's the lie. I'm right. going woodpecker liar. So I trust Andy. Andy doesn't trust me. Mike, where are you at? Yeah, apparently. I, look, I birds are weird. That, that that's what I that's solid what I know. solid. Jurassic are, Park taught us that they are dinosaurs. Yes, yes, they they were dinosaurs. Now they're birds. They're they can do very very bizarre things and they got look i know this about birds they have tongues yep factual information you're really working they through this skulls. like a genius <laughs> look when you don't know when you have not much to go on you grasp for the information you know 
I'm going with Elmo. I, I'm. Oh, there's no way that jellyfish. Andy's Andy's ruin us here. I'm locking in the Elmo is All right. the lie. Come on, Mike. Come on, Mike. Al, what was your answer, Andy? I'm sorry. <laughs> the uh, woodpecker. Okay, just making sure. Uh, Mike and Jason got that one right. So yeah, Mike's yeah, Mike's baby. on pace here. All oh, right, I Mike. I should have oh, trusted guys. you. I knew and the jellyfish Jason, one I, was true. I'm offended that that you thought I would take something that close to accurate. It's completely made up. Oh, oh that's such that a is good actually lie, though. a See, really that's... good lie. If it wasn't for Andy knowing the the second one, I would say it's impossible that a species is a, is immortal. And can we talk about we that need for to a spend second? Some more time <laughs> on that. Yes, <laughs> that that should be a whole podcast. Maybe we should reach out to the stuff you should know, guys. Talk about this immortal species of jellyfish because that is unfathomable. They, yeah, they Benjamin rev- Button. It can revert to infancy. I've That's- I've read about this before, and I was like, wow, dude, I shocking. Would- that's incredible. Yeah, they obviously can still succumb to predators and stuff, but they're biologically immortal. That is, that's insane. That is an insane fact. So, have they like when you were when you came across this Al Borland? Did they say the the oldest known jellyfish in existence? Did they did they like? No, I didn't see anything about that. Okay. Now looks to be eight years old. It's probably pretty hard to tag a jellyfish. We got a carbon datum, man. Oh, that's crazy. All right. All right. Come on, Mike. Take us home. All right. Here we go. Using genome editing tools, Harvard scientists were able to store an animated GIF of a (laughs) galloping horse in the DNA of bacteria. (laughs) That doesn't make any sense. Oh, oh, it makes sense, man. Ones and zeros. It makes sense. Everything is ones and zeros. Okay. Fact number two. The opposite of paranoia is called pronoia, the suspicion that Everyone is conspiring <laughs> to help you. <laughs> oh my goodness. That seems Some, like oh such man. a lie. Pronoia. Uh, that would Pronoia. be great if you had that. Oh my gosh. Wait, this wait, podcast. Wait, hold on, hold on. You trying to help me? You, you trying, trying to help, to help me, help me again? Out? Oh. You wait a minute. Are you on my side here? I'm a little <laughs> pronoid right now. <laughs> I'm a little pronoid. <laughs> this guy's pronoia. Uh due to selective breeding, this is fact three. Due to selective breeding, the average modern horse now puts out the equivalent of 1.2 horsepower compared to the output mm. calculated when the term was originally coined in the 18th century by James Watt. That is that is, that has to be true. I mean, it's just so yeah. clear and obvious. I mean, look at every also, species. Why do we use horsepower now? Like what? What is happening? Be- because it's a frame of reference, right? Like if if we said it, it you know, this has Jason, Jason, one thousand your- gigajoules of power. That means nothing to me. Okay, Jason. Uh, if, how powerful if, is a horse? How is Jay? one horsepower? <laughs> but I'm not. <laughs> I get what you're saying, but I'm not comparing it how to a horse. How powerful is a horse? I'm not comparing it to a horse. I'm comparing it to a 300 horsepower car i know like the frame of reference i know that metric now i don't think now if i had 300 horses over here uh they, i could run really fast all, all right. right i think that one's true i think that I one, think that one makes sense i think that that uh that one's a lie i'm gonna oh, believe that a horse okay. when they all determined right. horsepower they quantified it at that point in time does that mean if we go by true horsepower that cars are slower now? <laughs> like, well, it was a 300 horsepower <sighs> car, but now it's 250 horsepower. Horses got a lot stronger. If they updated it, yeah. Well, the horses, um, that's what they're saying. Horses did get stronger. Yeah. And it so makes we should, sense. We should lower our I just want to go 0 and 3. So I'm going to go with that one as the lie. Oh, man. I, I get the ones and zeros thing. I get it. But why? Why would Harvard scientists be like, I want Why to put an not, animated man. gif of a galloping yeah. horse on the Andy DNA. Wild. Also, two bacteria. horse lies in one round. Or is it two horse truths <laughs> in one <laughs> noun? And he's trying to help us, and we're being pronoid about it. Oh, I'm switching. I'm going to the. I, I'm going to be pronoid here. He's helping us. Uh, I'm calling the paranoia positivity. Pronoia is the lie. This is where I'm very upset. I don't remember more about. In in science class, getting all the science prefixes, like I so I assume that para means like out to harm. Is is, is that what? How how would you break down that word? So well, you think you about para paranoia, and you have noia. Uh, paranormal. Para must mean something about like 
ex- ex- some extra? kind of negativity. Yeah. Well, why is paranormal a bad word? <sighs> well, it's different. Yeah. No, it's you're like right. outside ex- of. Oh, this is this is terrible. I'm pronoia. Pronoia. I'm locking it in. Yeah, it seems Let's like go. a good bet. Let's go. Jason. Oh, we did. Hey, can before Al? What are you locking before in? you have to? He's well. I, we, Mike and I both locked in that the paranoia pronoia is the lie. But before you lose for the first time ever, Al, I want to say this has just been a delight. I have learned so much about upside down animals peeing and immortal <laughs> uh, jellyfish. This has been a delight. Now walk the plank. I too have enjoyed this, uh, and I did think uh, coming out of round two that this might be the last time we got to do liar liar on the show. But luckily, it it won't be because I'm still undefeated. Uh, <laughs> no, that's impossible. The lie there, Andy got that one right there. The uh, the lie was the what? horsepower. Oh my goodness! So Andy didn't even get to go zero and three. Nobody's happy. <sighs> wow. Yeah, I've let so give us it, it's good for the fans. They get we get more of this segment. Oh in my the god! Fans want you to burn, owl. I don't think that's true. I think they want no. us to burn. Yeah. Um, I, I what apologize is the, to my family. What is the horsepower? Uh, what's the facts behind it? Do you know the details? I, I have no idea. It's just oh, just made it up. <laughs> Dude, you are Come such on! a that's good such liar. A good, yeah. Got to go play some poker or something. There is, is no way this guy's not laundering money. Hold from on, us. hold on. Okay, <laughs> oh, hold on. James Watt is that a made-up person? I feel like it's not, but I really don't know. It was in my like it. It's in the recesses I, of my mind. But as he goes I now into read, his liar room and he figures these things out. <laughs> well, as as we're now like talking about power and he's James Watt. Yeah, no, he's like, a real person. He's a mechanical engineer, uh, Scottish okay. inventor. Mm. Wow. Okay. Dang it, man. All right. I was well done. JJ defeated. Watt. Time to draft. The Spitballers draft. All right. Jason's got the first pick, and we are doing a craft supply store battle royale. We are fighting one another inside of a craft store, as some were known to do. Oh, this yeah. would be one of the places where, uh, not that any, you know, the supermarket or the uh, Home Depot, these are not places that fights should break out, but somehow a craft sure. store seems really? like an even worse place for a fight to break well, out because I'm imagining... Uh, I've actually know, seen uh, as many fights to the death in a craft store as I have anywhere. <laughs> uh, Andy, that's do you true. realize how much we are up against this being that Jason I know. lives in a craft store? I yeah, know my, he does. It's true. My wife is a. Uh, we we have stock in all craft stores. Uh, <laughs> you, we, you know we we own uh, Joanne's and Michaels and Hobby Lobby. They you know those yeah, are those the are our stores. Um, and I get the first pick. So here's what I'm going to do. Here's yeah, what if I'm you lose, do. it would be to embarrassing. Make, no, to make it easier for you guys, I know what the best item in a craft store is. I'm very confident in it. And I thought about this heading heading into this draft. I am not going to take it. I'm going to give you two gentlemen the chance to not let it come back to me because I want it bad. But I feel like, you know, I got to, you know, I got to take a foot off of myself here. So it's a fair fight. Instead, I'm going to start with a heavy duty staple gun. Okay. Get a little bit of range. You know, you get a staple to the eye. I say goodbye because you gone. And I'm going to take because I'll say this. If I'm coming at you. And you've got a heavy duty staple gun and you're you're rocketing these staples at me. I'm not like I'm a baby. I'm turning I'm tuck tailing and run. And I now expect you to the do problem. the same. Here's the problem. I've I, I have no choice but to believe you. But inside my heart, I I don't think that a staple gun you can get at a craft store has oh. any kind of projectile speed. There are when two, he said little bit of range, he meant little bit of no, range. No, 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 he no, no. He meant no, like no. six to eight inches. Look, look, I'm kind of an expert here. If you look up a staple gun on any one of these sites, you're going to find two options. Site. You're going to find two options always. You will find a light duty staple gun and you will find a heavy duty staple gun you want to hang up your christmas trees no. or your, your christmas lights on your house you get the heavy duty staple gun yeah i got one of those yeah and that, you want to know where you can get it you can get it from my hands as i stand over you you could try to take it out because that's my object while i'm shooting staples into your Look, flesh let's not uh first of all we we accidentally handed jason some sort of authority that he's now trying to use against us in all this right. draft uh, I don't think they shoot very far, but 
That's a good pick. It's it's up to the people. It, it, yeah. Like if they actually shoot staples, then sure that I that's dangerous. Yeah, um, there you go. Uh, apparently, if you get hit in the eye, you instantly die, according to Jason in his argument. Uh, if you, you lose your die, vision, but... you are not going to win this fight to the death. I'm going to yeah. go ahead and throw that out there. Yeah. He's true. All right. Am I up next here? You, you are. are. I am going to go with. A little bit of chemical warfare. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. I'm taking some paint thinner, and oh. uh, I'm gonna oh. try to. Uh, what is this like you? a? Is this a cloth over the nose while yeah, you're? Like a, uh, no, this uh, is uh, more what, like, like ether? Form? I mean, if, ne- if necessary, but I don't want to get it on my hands. So this is more of me just. I'm gonna pop the top, and when you come running at me, I'm okay. gonna two hands under, and I'm I'm throwing a. a, a All right thing of paint okay. thinner on you all right Interesting. okay and then so you're gonna have to I, figure out how to get that off of so you. what i'm gonna have to do is before I'm gonna you have get to, cancer in 20 uh, years i'm gonna have to <laughs> close my eyes for a couple seconds and that's if it gets on your tough. skin you're gonna be calling the fire department i know that really Does oh paint, yeah paint thinner is bad oh yeah yeah super flammable super no, chemical I know burning on your skin i'm oh, just yeah. saying oh it doesn't if, do that no, no that's what i, I don't think no. if if I poured paint thinner all over my <laughs> arm, I think my arm's gonna be fine. I should go rinse it off. But really? and maybe owl maybe owl knows better. I don't think it's gonna do anything to me. I don't want it in my eyes. I don't yeah. want it in my mouth. No, it's not gonna burn you or anything. It's yeah, not this is, this is it'll not... dry your skin out. Oh, <laughs> might, that's need, true. might need some lotion. <laughs> nice number one pick, Andy. I thought it was really bad for you. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Chemical warfare. It smells right. bad. Like it could. I'm gonna lose some brain cells for sure when I inhale a little bit of that paint thinner. So you know, you, you, you like we'll kill you in this battle royale. But l- later, we, that'll come to bear on us. I'm All reading right. that you could get some redness. <laughs> <laughs> there could be some redness and some burning. Some there could be some burning irritation. There mm-hmm. could be. You guys are gonna be a little bit uncomfortable as you pursue. All right. So well, far, so really good on my number one, one pick coming back to All me. All right, Mike, try to I, beat that. <laughs> I am, I am like tilted now because I have. I've never YouTube paint thinner. That's what I, I have just learned. Like I, I just wrote down my list, my short list, and I figured there was two things that would easily go, easily go. But now Jason, with his d- demeanor over yeah. there, like I feel like he's lording over me. Oh, and knows man. something you, that I don't. You better take it. Okay, well. Although I will be really upset if you take it. So uh, so with my first pick, uh, as one who has felt the unfortunate sting of this we- weapon. I think you uh, just drafted is, felt. Is that right? No, you just, oh, no that, is, that is not true. Although felt would protect me easily from your paint thinner. <laughs> uh, I will take an exacto knife. Okay, okay. That's on my list for sure. Those things are super dangerous if you are making any sort of slashing motion. And, uh, man. Yeah. All right. What you got, Mike? I mean, how is it not scissors? Oh, that's I'll a decent take, one. I'm gonna, Look, I'm going to take a giant pair of metal scissors, crafting scissors, <laughs> and I, an X-Acto knife. I have, like, I have two blades here. Can I make I've, an upgrade to your pick? Sure. Shears. Fabric, fabric shears. Scissors. Oh, yeah, fabric. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah fabric. fabric shears. Those things are killers. I mean, it, I, I was That was talk- my pick, guys. That was my first pick. You don't remember that? I <laughs> yeah, picked no. fabric shears. I uh, wrote it that, down. That was so a great So you're pick. telling me, Jason, that an X-Acto knife and a f- and pair of fabric shears are not your number one pick. They are not my number one pick. Oh, man, I am fascinated. Yeah. This is, this is going to be great. Because I think in real combat, I, I I think I've got a better I think I've got a better I'm weapon. I'm taking here. all right all right. So you've got you're you're dual wielding no, an exacto knife I'm, and fabric shears. I've got shears. blades for days. You got blades for days, as they say. Uh, I'm gonna. It's hard to follow up paint thinner, to be honest. With but you're gonna I'm, need a lighter. Um, <laughs> Do they sell lighters? <laughs> that's uh, you know what? All of a sudden, it makes your first pick decent. I don't know if they sell lighters. I'm either. going to take. Uh, they sell candles. The they equivalent. Have of an anvil, I am taking a sewing machine, <laughs> and I'm going to wallop you on the head with it. Oh my word! I drafted your pick. I Andy, hope you're. I hope you're working out, man. Oh my word! You you are so close. I thought you were going to take it, and then you got the worst thing I could ever think of. 
<laughs> you were so close. I thought for sure you got it. Then you got a sewing machine. What are you? You're gonna toss this thing at us? Once? I'm going to hit you with it like an anvil. As if long you as we toss stand a sewing machine at me, three and, feet max. I mean, I could easily <laughs> dodge that sewing machine, and then it's out of I'm your hands. I'm going to blunt force hit. I'm not throwing it. Nobody, you put that in my mouth. I'm not throwing oh, it. I'm man. swinging it. I'm well, swinging you it know around. What, all right, Mom, we're back to my number one pick. You want to know what you would find right next to that sewing machine? A freaking iron. <laughs> A full corded iron that I can swing around, and that is an anvil. It's a ball and chain. I'm sw- imagine a heavy iron. For- I I am, and I'm imagining it connected to an electrical cord. Yes, and if I swing that Much- thing at you. Then that thing is ripping off the electrical. It is oh. detaching in about three swings. The only time it detaches is after no. your head is gone. I'm no, telling that you. Thing is, that thing is first ripping. There's first no of all, way. I'm plugging that thing in. Okay. Okay. Well, and I'll and stand six feet away from you and I'll be no, very no, no. safe. No, this is just going to start fight. He's going to warm this is, it up and is, then he'll swing it. It's going to be a I can, scalding. I going. I, I'm going to have a scalding hot, heavy <laughs> anvil on a cord. This, If we were to go to a craft store and we were to fight. An anvil that you said was stupid that yeah, I was going to hit people with, and then you drafted an anvil to hit people with. Because I can hit people with mine. You're going to toss a heavy sewing machine. It's like a I handle. Will step you can grab of, the top of a sewing machine. I will machine. step out of the way, and you won't get close enough to me because this is at least out a of, six let foot me cord, take if a not pole. an eight foot cord. Let me, if not an eight foot cord. Let me take a poll here. Uh, okay. Al, would you prefer to be hit in the head with a sewing machine made out of metal? Or an iron made out of metal? That's not really a fair question. The question should be, if I'm in a fight, would I rather you have a sewing machine or an iron? And I would much rather you my opponent... I took a poll. It's a poll <laughs> from me. It's not you rewording my question. Well, Andy, you want how much because I don't, I don't think you can hit me in the head with the sewing machine. And I, how much I does would it weigh? fear that Jason could hit me in the head with an iron. How oh, much does a sewing, sewing machine, machine weigh? weigh? Yeah. Probably 20 pounds. 10 pounds. Right. 10 pounds. Uh, 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 and you're confident that you could swing with like actual speed. You will be pounds. digging the paint thinner out of your eyes when I swing this if thing. You took a 20 pound dumbbell. Now, <laughs> if I got hit with that, yes, that would hurt. It would you're absolutely darn right hurt. It would. You will never be able to hit me with a 20 pound dumbbell Look, ever. Not while, in- while you're swinging, I'm taking a nap. I'm going to order a pizza. And then, then it will be halfway, so I'll probably have to go to the bathroom from indigestion from the pizza. Then I will come back, and, and then I will just step to the side. Out of the way. <laughs> What's your third pick, Jason? What's your third pick? All right. My, my third pick here is... I'm glad I can entertain you, too. <laughs> I'm gonna take my I'm going to take my item. I'm going to break it into two items. I'm Ooh. going with a paper cutter. I'm drafting two more. Okay. okay. And okay. I'm ripping I'm ripping that blade off the paper cutter, and I got a sword and shield, my friend. Well, you've already been bludgeoned by a sewing machine while you're trying you to rip it off. I will give you 25 minutes well, I, I to try to rip back. that thing off. Oh, okay. I will just unscrew it then. That- with what? <laughs> with, with what? what? I can with break. what? I can stand on. My, I, if I, my, if come I put stood, your hand in this thing so I I'm can chop Andy. your hand off. If I'm with I Andy. Stood you're not on, breaking it. There's no. Okay. You're not breaking it. If I stood on it, you're getting. We're we're gonna prove this. I'm gonna Wait, buy what? one. But we're shipping one to the studio. We let's get on this because if I can't no, break it, apparently we're gonna minutes, buy one, Mike. Based on that, that's five, right. Uh, we're all gonna minutes? go in. No, it's a battle to the death, man. You have two tries. I this can is... break that thing off for sure. All right. So you took a right. uh, a paper cutter, and it's back to me. Yep. I'm going to go with a wood burner. Because I can probably set the paint okay. thinner on fire with it, and I could probably yeah, burn you, you with it. It's kind of like burner. yeah, yeah, like you carve names and you you can make cool they drawings. They get blazing in our skin. hot. I can light the paint thinner on fire. I could engrave my so initials. Yeah, but it looks like a, like a soldering iron is what yeah. it looks like. You're d- look, we're running out of picks here, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going with the wood burner. Oh no, I know, I know what I'm taking. Uh, good. All right. So I I already have like blades for days as we have talked about. Uh, I am going to take look. Uh, we've seen this move several times. If you watch any type of martial arts movie and oh, you no. see someone reach into their pocket, you know what's coming out. It's chalk, baby. I'm taking crushed 
chalk, and I am throwing that in your face, and you will be blinded. <laughs> blinded. Wait, what yeah. movies are they pulling chalk out of their pockets? You acting like you've never blood, seen Bloodsport? Blood, blood, Bloodsport. He, he pluralized it, but there was one really famous I've never movie. seen that movie, therefore oh, I did not well, know about and it. And I stand by it. Had that not been Jean-Claude Van Damme, that fight would have been over because of the blinding okay. chalk but, dust. But to be clear, the one that got chalked won the fight? Yeah, because he was okay, Jean-Claude. Okay, just, uh, just Jean- making just making sure. Okay. And and also, I will check my sources. Jason Moore is not Jean-Claude Van Damme. <sighs> That's true. I can never do the splits. I would like to see the splits. <laughs> not John, happening. Jean-Claude Van Damme could rip off that paper cutter blade right. in one second. I can't even make a wide A. <laughs> I am a regular A in my splits. That is as I'm far as lower, I go. Lowercase A. I'm more of an H. All right. I would, right. And this is this is perfect because more of an I, H that deserves credit. <laughs> that was a good one. I know that oh, that Jason is oh, number one. I'm not worried about Andy's items. Number two, Jason is <laughs> over with his iron plugged in, waiting ten minutes for this thing to heat yeah, up. Yeah, they don't heat up very quick. He I is also spending a, that point. A, that point. The tip is ripping through your skull. He's also taking another five minutes while I watch him struggle. <laughs> Endlessly trying to rip the actual paper. He's also cutter loading apart. staples. He's loading staples into his gun too. He needs some time. I, and and I need some projectiles. I need I, like I, okay. I need some projectiles. You know what you and I've got time. Like I said, I've got time to build. I'm gonna build me some model rockets, baby, <laughs> and I'm gonna be firing oh these things. <laughs> you know how fast a model oh, rocket? Oh is that man. Thick? I don't know if it's good or bad, but I oh, love it. I love it. It's fun. That it's fun. And I will say this. If that model rocket hits me, face off. if that model rocket hits me, it's going to be a lot harder to dodge that than to dodge a sewing machine. But when it hits me, I'm probably going to say, ow. Oh, Pretty no loud. way, man. You're, you're going to be, I'm going to put some D engines in that bad boy. You'll be done. You'll be impaled. <laughs> I the love Patriots coming for you. We're yeah, going it, through the mental recesses of walking <laughs> through craft stores with our mothers as kids and seeing all the model planes <laughs> and the model rockets. Well done, Mike. That's my favorite pick in a long time. He's building model rockets. <laughs> oh, I for, snorted. And, and you need YouTube to build them. You know that. Oh, you're darn right. I do. I don't remember how to do it. I'm going to be calling my dad. Oh, um, <laughs> dad, where do I put this? No, wait, I, I got to put both clamps on the on the launcher. So there's a chance you're shooting the rocket right into your own face. Got it. Oh, th- there's a thousand percent chance that it's not firing. <laughs> you're throwing you ever, it. You're, you're throwing you ever that rocket. Trying to launch a model rocket, it's impossible. All right. I, uh, I've i realized, guys, <laughs> you guys have made it clear to me that you think I, I'm not going to be able to catch you by surprise with a sewing machine. No, that's a fact. So I'm going to need to disrupt a little bit of your, uh, you know, Mike's coming at me with a couple of shears. Yeah. Jason's coming at me. Uh, he's going to have to get close with the staple gun. Look, I'm going to throw just a bucket of beads on the ground and you will. Oh, slip oh yeah. And you will fall and then I will yeah. crush you with that sewing machine and I will burn my initials into your. Corpse. Home Alone style. You'll get them. Yeah, I like it, man. The and then once burner. I brand you, I'm going to pour some paint thinner into the wound. That's right. That's I will. right. Oh. You'll give me. If that, only you drafted work? marbles, because I think the beads I could just walk on. I don't. I'm trying you to. Can't. I'm staying no. in a craft store. Marbles. They don't sell linoleum marbles there, do they? On, what are you talking beads about? Yeah, you can, you can build like the, the marble marbles. Marbles are from a toy store, aren't they? No, you can definitely get marbles at a, at a craft store. All right. Store. I'm, staying, I'm staying in the lane yeah. of a craft store here, Jason. I like it. All right, that's that's fine. That's fine. I'm I like it. Taking a bicycle, <laughs> <laughs> I'll take a twenty-two. Okay, some craft stores, I'm sure, out in Texas, sell them. Um, all, all right, right. Jason, so I've got I've got, got one last pick, and I've got two things that I really want. Okay, so I'm trying to think here. Let, let's see, what is my roster right now? I've got a uh, a heavy duty staple <laughs> gun. I, this, this I'm trying cool. to think. Do I need range? I like that it keeps throwing in heavy duty like. <laughs> Well, because there's two kinds you get. I mean, just search staple okay. gun. We're and not own- mistaking a soft po- duty. <laughs> we we need to, yeah, yeah, like light duty. We need, okay, we need to go over to the other man, uh, Owl Borland. Please weigh in on the heavy duty staple gun. You're not going to hit anybody that's very far from you. That's for sure. And and if you do, say they're four feet from you, and you manage to hit them, it's going to flick right off of them. The the <laughs> issue is I'm getting them to run away. 
The <laughs> issue is I'm getting them to be scared of getting hit by a staple gun. Okay. Okay. All right. That's fair. that's just uh, that's just fear. That's and stage then the one beads of war. Come out. Now, if you get someone like actually with a staple gun, aren't you just closing the wound? <laughs> Unless it's the eye, Mike. I'm only aiming eyes. No, you're giving him more points, Mike, because if you use those uh, shears and exacto knives, he can close his own wounds. All right, look. He's Mike's staple true. gunning himself. That's true. Mike has, First aid. Mike yeah. has some blades. I'm going to come at him with my blades. I've already got a paper cutter blade. I am taking maybe a, maybe maybe <laughs> I'm taking a rotary cutter rotary those, cutter is on my list those things are I can speak from experience they are yes. crazy sharp and I could just run this thing all now, over I know, you I know exactly what that is but also what is that so a rotary cutter um, it's a it's a if you it's ever a cut a pizza blade. You ever cut oh, a pizza with yeah. a pizza cutter? It's Dang the it. same thing in a different package. My I'm wife brought that one up as an idea for me, and I didn't know what it was. I'm drafting and a I, pizza It's cutter. a razor blade as opposed yeah. to a pizza cutting blade. It's very Can you cheap. use it on pizza? Uh, Double sure. you, you it's could. probably an upgrade for a pizza cutter. Okay. It'll cut right through a pizza. I remember helping my daughter with a craft project for school. And I had a we, we were using a, a, a rotary cutter, and we're trying to like cut... Uh, I think we're cutting construction paper. So, you know, I'm using a ruler and I'm, we're, we're lined up with the construction paper. But I am just taking chunks out of this ruler, man. Like, it could not withstand the rotary cutter. Those, Those things, things are, are serious. Sharp. They are sharp. Oh, um, my goodness. I was, I was thinking about taking spray paint, you know, some kind of, uh, again, I'm going for the eyes. But a uh, rotary cutter, I'll just go for the neck. I've got, <laughs> I've got a bunch yeah. of just incredible... Your, your, your lineup is amazing, Andy. And I will say this. If we were in a wrestling or boxing match, we were in a cage match. It just you versus me. We You're don't have anything in there. Yeah. I would prefer to give you a sewing machine that you use in this fight. Like, I would want you to also try. Like, this it is to your advantage. It just takes one hit, Jay. Just That's one true. hit. But it just uh, takes two swings and you're tired. I thought about drafting some pillow stuffing, you know, just as protection I for like thought about blood it. force pillow trauma. Armor. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Pillow armor. Against Mike's blades. How I thought about, about duck, I had, duct I had tape? that. Oh, duct tape. Okay. That's solid. Breaking had, a uh, picture frame and taking the glass out of yeah, it. Yeah, I had giant okay. mirror. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah. I had, I had glass ornaments. Because, oh, look, that's All the not Christmas bad. stuff is there. That's a Home Alone um, thing, too. It, it is. That's what I thought of. And then... I like I don't know what exactly to call, them, but the the uh, the yarn stick. The oh, yarn I have needle. that. Yeah, the 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 uh, uh, the, the yarn knitting, stick needle. knitting needle. Uh, a is large a knitting, knitting needle. I mean, like you talk about getting someone in the eye, you get someone Ooh. with that thing, it's over. Yeah, is there I mean, something that's... you can do with a glue gun? <laughs> yeah, so glue gun was on my list, but it's one of those things where it's <laughs> it's not going to injure you. It's just going to hurt. But you, it's gotta really similar right. to Jason's iron, just a lot lighter. Well, it, yeah, I mean, if I swung an if I swung a glue gun around, I you would get hit and you'd go, "Ow, stop." <laughs> and then if I swung an iron around, you'd go and you're on the ground. You're 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 gone. <laughs> it's the best pick of this whole thing. Let's go in that cage match and give me an iron and you a sewing machine. Let's go to go to work. Um uh, I also uh. had um a, a it's seasonal but how about a mm. pumpkin carving kit? <laughs> you know, I mean, well, like plastic okay. screws and stuff. Well, no, like they're they're yeah, just they all little those blade little blades. In it, but those mm. blades break right in <laughs> half. <laughs> they in they the break pumpkins. with a pumpkin. Yeah. I mean, I've never gotten through a pumpkin with one of those things. All right, uh, my final one was spray paint. I figured that spray oh, paint to the face is very much like mace. Yeah, yeah. But I went with the chalk. Yeah, <laughs> very nice. You went with the chalk pick. All right. <laughs> What did we learn today? Oh, I, I mean, oh, read I know through the I liar learned. liar section. I, mean, uh, I learned uh, that global invisibility is a terror um, <laughs> that I do not want as a superpower for half of humanity. I learned what paint thinner really is. <laughs> unfortunately, <laughs> look, it's good for paint. Not, yeah, not good for harming skin. Uh, Redness. I there's a jellyfish that just that can live forever if it wants, which doesn't make any sense. We learned so much, and that Al is still undefeated. Also, Al, you're fired. You are no yeah. longer employed. Sorry about fire, that, Fire, fire. But get this show up first, please. <laughs> you got it. All Thanks right. for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Goodbye. Thanks for listening to the Spitballers Podcast. To see what other nonsense the guys are up to, check out spitballerspod.com. 